remember hearing the news about the season being suspended until April 13th, which it's crazy that we've like already surpassed that date, but that made it feel like it wasn't a hundred percent real yet that everything was really canceled. And we went home and we had the two weeks of online classes right after spring break. And I had a feeling that everything would be canceled because they had also canceled postseason play. And then when I heard the news about our last four or so games being canceled, that's when I finally was able to realize like, Oh, this actually is the cancellation of all spring sports. And I was so mad because especially being a senior, it just hit so much different. But then I began to realize like all other athletes around the country are going through this. So it was just a time of, kind of reflecting on how good my four years really were. And it sucks that it was cut short, but I, it was just such a whirlwind, like worrying about moving out of my apartment because I didn't know when we'd be allowed back on campus and when we'd be able to move out of the locker room. And it was just, it was a total mess, honestly, hearing about everything. And there like, was it really time to react to it almost because it just didn't feel real for a little bit. And I heard about the, year that the NCAA is granting all athletes, all spring athletes, I, I already knew, like, I unfortunately wouldn't be able to take that year on just because I've got plans for online grad school and starting my job this upcoming fall, which stinks. I mean, it would have been nice to, it's nice to know that the opportunity was there and it makes me happy for the athletes that are able to fulfill that and take on an extra year. But it definitely provides me with some closure though, because I, it, although it stinks that I won't be able to play lacrosse for another year, the decision was kind of made for me, which is, it was kind of, it's kind of nice to not have to worry about making that decision. After we graduate, I'm going to, I'm starting online classes to get enough credits to sit for the CPA exam. So it'll be a MS in accounting and I'm working at an accounting firm in Hartford, Connecticut. So that'll all start up pretty quickly. Still not sure when the start date, start date for my job will be, but I'm thankful to still have a job because I know some people are unfortunately losing theirs and people are losing internships. So I'm in a pretty good position about that, which I'm happy about. I that SNU was a special school. I, that's a huge thing that drew me in was it's a smaller school, but definitely on the up and up. And all of the new like programs and buildings and things that have been introduced. I just felt so lucky. And so now seeing all the relief that SNU is helping provide during this time, it makes me really proud. And I think that's how a lot of like faculty and students and athletes feel because it's, we're a part of a special thing, I think with SNU and I wouldn't change any decisions that I made coming to SNU, sticking with lacrosse. I'm so thankful for, everything that I've learned and all the people that I've met along the way. And now on the other end, being home and knowing that even though I'm still technically a student, but I've only got a few days left of like online classes, it doesn't really feel like I'm still on campus. But seeing the news about how they set up the gym as a relief site for any overflow and all these donations and meal programs, it's just, it, it's amazing to see SNU setting the time and effort aside to do that for the community. And it makes me really happy to see that. I'm proud to be a part of that.